Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. In this video, I'll be sharing my testing experiences, some test footages. I have shot some footages in different frame rates, different sizes, 4K, 8K, high frame rate, 4K, high Q mode, and uh, even in 8K, full HD. Towards the end of the video, I'll share my experiences. And before that, I wanted to do the testing of overheating, which I've got from many people. So I thought I'll do the testing also. I'm going to switch on this camera, 8K shooting. It's on 8K and it's going to shoot on 29 point nine seven frame frame rate so i've started the recording i'll just wait and see how much time it will take for getting heated up continuously i'll be shooting so i'll be waiting and i'll wait for the camera to give me a message that it's too hot uh, let's see what happens because i have enabled the overheating protection there's an option in this so that your camera doesn't get damaged or I don't know what would happen if I don't enable it for the safety I have kept it enabled let's see The lights are not really good. Uh, I'll take in different uh, settings like the frame rate, the size of the frame and uh, even the high speed and the 4K uh, footages. Let's see. So guys, I'm really happy with the stabilization part. I used the digital stabilization enabled, not the enhanced one, the basic one. And the stabilization on the lens is also enabled. Then IBIS is being used. There's no option to disable IBIS. So IBIS comes by default. Um, for me, I felt uh, the stabilization is really good compared to the previous version, the EUS R. Then coming to the quality of the footages, I really like the 4K HQ mode which basically uh, generates the footage using 8K data. That's what I understood from what they have written in their manual. So that 
footages are really good and uh, even I like the 4K uh, 60 frames per second and even the high frame rate shots. So the performance is amazing and even the low light performance also was really good. I shot the ISO up to 25,000 and uh, I didn't find any grains or anything and especially I like the auto ISO which works great when you are moving and vlogging. Uh, for vloggers, it's going to be a great camera. So the overheating, the, it's like 2 minutes 22 seconds, still going on, no issues. So I'm shooting on 8K. As far as um, 1080p is concerned, there is no heating issue. The heating issue, what I heard is for 8K and 4K. So I'm currently testing 8K. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to shoot a half an hour video continuously on 8K. I'm not going to shoot continuously for half an hour on 4K also. So for me, I don't think that's a problem. Definitely they have made it very clear that there is an overheating issue when you shoot on 4K and 8K. So we have to understand that. I heard that there is a firmware coming up. Maybe they may sort out this issue, but I don't think so that can get sorted out because this is a very small body, we need to understand that and it's a mirrorless body and uh, there's no fan or there's no cooling system in that so definitely it will get overheated. Even the EOS R has the same heating issue when you shoot on 4K. So compared to that it's like really great. So it's still recording, it's like 4 minutes, no issues. But I feel I think it's a bit, but still not, not, not hot to me. Still let it go on. It's completed four minutes. So guys, it's still shooting. It's six minutes over, 8K. No issues till now. But, but I can feel it's getting hot. So as per the website, what they have mentioned is uh, 8K, 30 frames per second, uh, 20 minutes of footage you will find the overheating so I don't think my SD card would support for 20 minutes let's yeah I see it's showing the overheating warning it's overheating warning so it's like six minutes it's seven minutes so seven minutes of 8k footage continuous now the biggest problem is I'll have to wait till this gets cooled down. Then only I can use the camera. That's where the trouble comes. So don't continuously shoot on 8K for more than five minutes. Practically when I use, I will never need it. I would never need to shoot on 4K or 8K more than say 30 seconds or one minute. Most of the shots which I do, I cut, it's like hardly three to four seconds. So for me, it's not a problem. That's the reason. So I was completely aware of this problem. So I have no regrets or no problems in this. I just wanted to show you this overheating thing. See, it's still overheating. I think it'll take another five to 10 minutes. I have to keep it in a cool place to start shooting it again. So overheating, yes, there is a problem if you are shooting on 8K or 4K. Overall, for me, this camera is doing a great job. I will Keep posting some more videos if I find something interesting or if you have any question, please post in the comment so that I can check that and post it in my next video. So send me your questions if you want to know anything about this camera. I will definitely do it. Still that red is blinking. So it takes time. So that's all for now guys. Um, take care. Hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and if you are new here, consider subscribing. Bye for now. Take care. Thank you.